chromosome one uh, has been uh, heavily associated with poor prognosis and uh, adverse events um, or ad adverse uh, overall survival in patients, uh, in newly diagnosed myeloma patients. So what we wanted to do is try to take a multiomic approach to try to characterize and clarify things a little bit further on uh, what's exactly going on in chromosome one um, uh, in relation to the recurrent uh, somatic structural events, such as uh, copy number gain and copy number deletion, but also complex structural events. Um, and what we found uh, in a combination of RNA sequencing uh, data um, from a large patient cohort and also whole genome sequencing data from the same uh, patient cohort, um, we were able to kind of map out uh, the that it's not just one singular gene or driver gene or region that is causing this uh, potential or that is potentially causing this adverse um, clinical phenotype. So. Uh, Using um, a, a additional high C and epigenetic data, we also tried to characterize and uh, uh, assess the uh, chromatin landscape of chromosome one and try to relate those changes to uh, the structural events that we see and, and try to lay a, front, uh, lay a groundwork for a new model that uh, takes into account multiple genes um, rather than just one singular driver gene as being the cause for this, uh, these poor, poor overall survival and, and poor performing um, patients. Yeah, so the, the, the main findings that there were, um, there were a total of seven uh, hotspots of, of deletion that occur on uh, the one P arm, and a total of nine hotspots of gain that occur across chromosome one. Um, most of it is focused in regions that people are familiar with and and uh, overlap with known uh, driver uh, candidate driver genes. Um, but what we see is that there are other genes that are associated with those regions that are overexpressed, um, leading to what we believe is uh, not just one singular actor that is causing this. Uh, 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 you know, causing the disease phenotype um, and that there should be more um, specificity when it comes to defining uh, chromosome 1 or gain of 1Q patients or deletion of 1P. Um, and there's also uh, significant epigenetic um, alterations. So a lot of these genes um, and uh, hotspots are uh, associated with super enhancer elements as well. So there's a clear dysregulation of many things that are going on um, and most patients don't uh, have one single uh, of these hotspots. They tend to uh, have um, upwards of seven to nine for the, the gain, regions of gain, but also uh, harbor between uh, one, to, um, one to three and when it comes to the deletion regions.